We have received this PlayStation 3 Slim and apparently there are two problems with it. First is the reset switch. Uh, the switch itself works but uh, there are no lights showing. Uh, the blue light doesn't turn on, the green light doesn't turn on. Uh, so we will be replacing the reset switch. The second is the Blu-ray drive. The Blu-ray drive doesn't feed discs, doesn't eject discs, uh, it doesn't read discs. Uh, so there are some problems with the Blu-ray drive. Uh, what we'll be doing, we'll be opening up the Blu-ray drive, trying to analyze uh, the, the Blu-ray drive and try to fix it. Okay, uh, I've already connected the PS3. Uh, it's basically the power uh, plug is in the PS3, but you don't see any lights on there. Uh, I'm going to turn it on. And you can see that... Uh, there are no lights on the PlayStation 3. I'm not sure whether you can hear this sound. The PlayStation 3 Blu-ray drive is making these, these, this noise. So there are some issues with the PS3 Blu-ray drive. So we'll be opening up the Blu-ray drive and trying to analyze the problem. And you can see the rest of the PS3, um, the navigation screen. Everything else is okay. The only problem is under here. And if you can hear it, uh, this Blu-ray drive is making all this noise. Okay, so let's open up the Blu-ray drive and try to figure out what the problem. Okay, so now we have our Blu-ray drive ready here. In order to open up the Blu-ray drive, all you need is a Phillips Zero screwdriver, preferably magnetic. Alright, let's open it up and try to figure out what's the problem here. First, open up these three screws. Next, flip it over. There are three Phillips screws here and two long Phillips screws here, so unscrew them. Next, uh, there's a clip here, simply unclip it and remove the data cable. So unclip it, remove the data cable and now you can easily lift the top cover. Okay, remove the magnetic spindle. The problem here is there are two discs stuck in the drive. Uh, I don't know if you can see it, but there are actually two discs in there. So what are we going to do? We'll be removing these two discs and we'll be resetting the eject feed mechanism and resetting the whole Blu-ray drive. Hopefully that will fix the issue. Okay, let's get going. Okay, first uh, we need to remove the two Phillips screws here. Okay, next there are two clips here. Simply unclip it and you can gently pull up the top cover. Okay, so that's our top cover here, and then these are our two discs that are stuck or that was stuck in the Blu-ray drive. So that was the issue here, I think. Okay, now this should be pressed down, and this clip should be to this position so what are we going to do here now flip it over and we're going to take off this take off the screw and take off this and this snaps off that's it we have reset the drive Simply put back the screw. And as you can see, put back this gear. Uh, this has reset its original position. This is pushed down. So now we can put it all back together and test it out. So the top frame. Just 
clips in. Okay, next we'll be placing the magnetic spindle uh, and then two Phillips screws that goes here. Okay, next put back the top cover. Uh, next, simply unclip this clip and insert your ribbon cable in there. That's done. And then the bottom cover. Now simply screw, place all these screws. Okay, flip it over. Three Phillips screws. Okay, let's put this blue drive back in the PS3 and test it out and see if it all works. Okay, I put back the blue drive back in the PS3. I'm going to insert a disc and uh, see if it accepts it. Okay, the blue drive is accepting the disc. Let's see if it reads it. Yes, it's reading the disc fine as well. So we have successfully uh, removed foreign objects. There were two discs stuck in the Blu-ray drive, so we have successfully removed the disc. We have uh, successfully reset the Blu-ray drive as well. Uh, just to quickly, let's test the eject function as well and see if it's ejecting the disc properly. As you can see, uh, it's ejecting the disc fine as well. This concludes our test. Thank you. Thanks for watching the videos. Please go to gc-repairs.com to purchase all the tools and accessories you need. Thank you.